what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be a sewing progress video on this mccall's m8051 um so this is the second look in my summer brown collection um basically just two skirts and one pant all in the color brown um two with a front fly zipper one with a back zipper and it's just going to kind of be like a sewing progress video on this look so Originally, I was thinking about doing this view, view E, which is just a shorter version of the skirt, but once I put the um, skirt pattern on the fabric, which is this, the same fabric as my pant that I'm making in this collection, um, I just kind of fell in love with the longest view, which is view A. Um, so you can see right here, this is view a it's just basically the longest version of the skirt the skirt is well this pattern is basically just this skirt in different lengths um so you can see by the back here it will say like a b c and which um cut it is so i decided to go with the long one as you may have known from seeing my other videos i'm putting in this back zipper it is a back center zipper and it will be visible um so this kind of matches this was the best zipper seven inch zipper i could find that matched this color um so this one's a little more orangey and this one's a little more like dark um but they're they're pretty close so ideally all you would see would be the teeth of the zipper um it calls it doesn't call for an invisible zipper just a normal all-purpose zipper so I went ahead and did some stuff already to this pattern. You can see I cut it out um, and then I pinned it up here. This is the waistband. And so there is a front and a back. The front is cut on a fold and the back is not because of the zipper in the back. Basically um, just the same pattern piece, just cut in half. So this view, or the pattern piece three, the back one, it calls for two in fabric and two in interfacing. So I already ironed on the interfacing on the back. Um, for those of you who don't know or call it, it's like called either interfacing or stabilizer. I hear both. I usually just call it interfacing. Um, for those of you who don't know what interfacing is, it is this stuff that you put in like waistbands or collars or um, cuffs that makes the fabric stiffer. So um, it will be stronger and it will hold its shape better. So that's why like collars, they hold their shape um, very well is because they have a little bit of stabilizer in it. And you won't be able to tell like by looking at it that it's in there because when it is sewn, um, whenever you sew these pieces together, I'm pretty sure this one is a fold over waistband. You won't be able to see any interfacing in the um, the waistband once it's finished. For this pattern, we have the front and the back waistband, the seven inch all-purpose zipper, and then we have the front and back skirt piece. So let me grab this off the mannequin so I can show you. So this is the long, just to kind of show you how long it is in length, it's a pretty long skirt. So I'll show you the, here's the front piece, which I cut on a fold and it calls for you to cut it on a fold. So that way um, you have no seam going down the center of your skirt. Um, very simple, you just cut one on a fold, it's super long, but then whenever you open it up, um, that's when you can kind of see the shape of the skirt like that. So that's the front piece and it calls for one, well, I guess two darts, one on either side of the front. Um, so that's the first thing I'll be doing. So right there, the dart, you just um, go by your size. And then the back piece basically looks identical. Um, it also has two darts, but it is not cut on a fold because you have that center, back center zipper. And then it also has this detail right here, basically um, for there to be a slit in the skirt. So those are the pattern pieces. Um, the first thing I did, so I cut it out. 
then I put the interfacing on um, with my iron. It's cooling down right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the darts in um, the both, both pieces of the back and then the front on both sides. And then I will catch up with you. So basically, one last thing I wanna show you. Whenever you look at a um, flat pattern on the back of a pattern, you can tell it has darts by those marks right there. Um, so it shows, for example, here's A. So this is the front view because it doesn't have a zipper in it. And you can see those two dart lines right there. And then here's A, B, and C, the back view because of the center zipper on the back and it has two darts right next to um, either side of the zipper. So let me get you sewing those darts and then I will catch up with you. I just got my darts into place, well kind of, and I want to show you like what my process is of doing darts, um, just in case you're doing this pattern for the first time. So what I did first, this is the front piece, um, and I, I don't know why I chose the front piece first, it was just the one closest to me, that's why I did it. Um, it doesn't matter if you do the front darts or the back darts first, um, as long as you do them before you start sewing all the pieces together. So what I did first was I pinned the um, pattern to the fabric really well, matched up all these corners up here um, with this pin, and I had some others that I took out, um, just so that way I would get an accurate dart. And then I also made sure, because this um, pattern piece is on a fold, I made sure my back and front fabric were matching up um, super well. Uh, so that way the dart would be on the same side on either or the same distance in the right place on either side of the pattern piece. Um, so you can take this pin out. Trust me, you use so many pins. I like um, a variety of pins just because it's easier to pin some stuff with longer pins and it's easier for me to do darts with shorter pins. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. So here you can see I found my size, which is the 12, on the dart and I pinned in the little holes. So right here is a hole for the bottom dart for 12 and then the two dart ends right here. I decided, oh, and it went all the way through the back of this. I decided um, to use these small uh, pins with the small heads because um, it's very easy and it's very useful just to kind of rip the pattern piece off it's not rip but slowly take away the pattern piece um, from your garment when you have the um, the darts in the right place so all I did was just kind of slip it through there and it's really easy with the small pins um, because they don't make that big of a hole and they're just overall easier so then I slipped away the last piece. So if I take all that, what I have now is two dart heads and a bottom dart. So you want to focus, at least for me, I always um, have the ball of the pin where the top of the dart should be. So don't focus on, you know, how these are crooked. Just focus on the top right here and then the bottom right here is where you want to end it. So now we have to get this shaped dart on both sides and you want it to be on the inside um, because it's easier to pin up and that's how you sew the dart. So right where we left off we have the two dart heads and the bottom dart piece. So I'm going to bring my pin cushion over here. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do like this and just have it to where the pin is pointing all the way through. And then I'm gonna take a, another pin and I'm gonna mark on the inside where that dart is hitting. So this dart is hitting right here. So I'm gonna put a little pin right here. This is the inside of the fabric. I'm gonna pin that off, making sure the head of the pin is marking exactly where the other pin uh, leaves off. And then I'm gonna take another pin and do it on the same or the opposite side with the same placement as far as the um, dart head. So then I have those on the inside and I can take this out. So when you open it up, 
we have two dart heads on opposite side. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with this. are put in on the front and the back so four total and I'm working on the back piece so what I did was I sewed well first I surged um, all the edges because it's easier to surge before you sew stuff together I find and this had an interesting little piece right here for the slit so I wanted to go ahead and surge each back piece um, all the way, even the um, edges of it for the hem, just to get all the surging on the back out of the way. I haven't surged the um, back side seams yet, just the center back. So I did that first um, with my serger back there. It's actually still on. And then I went and I sewed down all the way, including this. Here, let me do this so it's easier to see. Here we go. So I sewed all the way down this, and then you make like a little out right here for the slit, and then this part, the bottom of the skirt is kept open. Um, so this closes off the back seam completely, so the center back is done, except for the slit needs to be sewn still. And then I went in, and it's interesting how I don't know if I read the pattern wrong because I thought you needed an all-purpose zipper um, so not an invisible zipper but whenever um, I'm sewing this it has you put in the zipper like an invisible zipper so I probably just read the back of the pattern wrong but this will be fine it will do um, you'll just be able to see the teeth of the zipper which is fine um, it doesn't really bother me so what you do next is on the pattern piece it will show you where to mark um for to do like their little back stitch there for the zipper but what i did was i just put the zipper down and measured you want a back stitch done where so the zipper stopper is underneath it um because when you sew this so basically what you're going to do is you're going to press this open you're going to put your zipper with the teeth on this so it will be like this and then you'll sew it's easier to do it with it unzipped but you'll sew down this and then you'll sew down the next one and then you'll take out um whoops you'll take out this stitch right here so then you have just like this clean zipper line but because you back stitch down here underneath the stopper um the like once you take the threads out it won't go past that so you'll have like a nice clean line for your zipper encasing today's video let me know if you like these types of videos the like sew along kind of bring you along the journey with me while I'm sewing like these specific patterns with a thumbs up or a thumbs down um, comment down below if you have any questions or if you've also used this pattern other than that I will talk to you later